Yeah, so I said, you know, one of the ideas I had is, and sort of it was in a similar position to how I am now where I just had, oh, maybe we can do a little bit of a different approach in terms of the high level political strategy. I saw Unite America, Unite America was fielding uh, sort of centrist independent candidates in areas where there was a pretty close two-party split. And I thought that would be where uh, the spoiler effect is greatest, and that would be the most difficult arena for, for an independent. So I thought, well, I live in deep blue Massachusetts um, at that time, and here it's if effectively one-party domination, maybe this is the place where you really need uh, an independent party because you can take advantage of sort of the primary success of more divisive politicians, which was kind of nascent at the time. Uh, it was actually as the 2018 election went on, again, vindicated, but uh, <laughs> sort of pyrrhic victory there of, you know, these further left, further right politicians winning these primaries. And you know, it's against a, a candidate like that where, in theory, if you have a sort of in, an independent with broad appeal, you have this minority party that has no candidate at all. You've got all of them who are closer to you on the spectrum. You've got a lot of ind independents, moderates, centrists who are feeling disenfranchised, who maybe feel like they don't have a candidate, and suddenly, you know, that's your natural base. And you might even have, you know, the moderates or even the, what used to be the core of the majority party where they, they may have mixed feelings about this far left or far right candidate. And I thought, hey, that, that's the model. And, you know, instead of just saying in the abstract, this is the model, maybe I should run. A learning experience, yeah. it sounds like. A learn. It's definitely a learning experience. I think that's a, that's a fair way to put it. Um.